Okay, so this is how you set up the line for catfishing. Um, we're going to use the sinker, a little bit of an egg sinker, and uh, you're going to thread that on the line first. And then what you're going to do is take your dough bait hook, um, which is basically a treble hook with a spring on it. Um, and that helps to retain the dough bait on there. The spring gives the dough bait a little bit more integrity. But once you tie that on the line, um, you can put on a little bit of a stopper and uh, that'll help the, the weight from going down to the bottom where the hook is and knocking the dough bait off. Um, but I'm using a slip rig um, with this with this catfishing um, this catfishing time so it works pretty well um, sometimes people will use a, a uh, swivel at the end that's fine too if you want to do that but I think the less the less metal or less uh, shine or whatever introduced into the catfish uh, view is better um, the, the the more natural it'll feel so I have my my adobe hook my sinker and then I'll put a, a stopper which is just a rubber band um, you know it's pretty simple and I take that and tie it on tie it onto my line all right we're ready so we have a dough bait here and I'm going to show you how to put this on um, the best way to put it on is to take a piece of plastic um, like I have a little plastic bag that came from my, my uh, rubber bands here and I'll put a piece of dough bait in there and see it really gets sticky after you let it sit for a while because that um that flower just kind of turns into like a real strong glue so then I'll take this um, this dough bait this hook put it in there and I'll push the hook I'll push the hook I'm gonna get it close so you can see this I'll push the uh, hook right into the dough bait push it down and then use the plastic to kind of just cinch it in my hand like make a fist make sure it's in the middle so you don't stick yourself cinch it in your hand and that'll really push that dough bait down in the, into the hooks and then into the spring to so then once you pull it off the you don't get it on your hands and the dough bait comes out on the ball so you hold on to that plastic because you'll need it to re redo the line all right here we go I kind of tapped that line there, but I might want to pull it in a little bit. So you'll see, okay, so when you pull in, when you pull in your hook, sometimes you'll have it uh, strip off right away just like it did um, you want to put some water on it and make sure it's slick on the outside that'll help it hold together but on that cast I actually hit a branch so I know why that came off but it's okay because it's kind of chum in the water <laughs> You got to be careful with this because you'll get you'll get carp that'll hit this line and and uh, I mean they'll just tear it right up. They'll tear your reels right up. All right, there we go. All right, let's cast this out there. All 
All right, so I'm going to be tight lining. So um, I'm going to go ahead and sit this down. I would like to get a stick. This is what we used to do. If you didn't have a pole holder, take a stick and stick it in the ground. This one's kind of limber. I don't know if it's going to work. And uh, that's how you set it. Okay, just as I was going to pack up um, and getting ready to leave, I always happen to leave my lines in the water um, until I'm done uh, packing up everything. And then I go ahead and grab my lines in. Well, just as I was going to pull that one in, got one on. So this is the first one for this spot. Um, and the last one too. <laughs> but um, we're going to go ahead and move to another spot. But uh, hey, the bait worked today. Okay, so here is that one and only catfish. And uh, we're going to go ahead and release him. None for the worse. He had two of those treble hooks caught in his mouth. And uh, he's okay now. All right. One, two, three. There he goes. He's going back off to his home. All right. Bring back your father. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, tighten that drag up. Here we go. Oh yeah. Got a nice bull hit. Right, there we go. Come on, here we go. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome aboard to the show. He's been fighting. Got a, a nice bull hit. And okay. Hey. I got him, I got him. All right, calm down, calm down, calm down. There we go. A nice uh, blue catfish, and uh, he's a. Uh... <laughs> calm down, buddy. Calm down. I'm gonna get my tool here. He's missing his eye. I got some hemostats. All right, there we go. Look at this. Look at that big sucker. He's missing his eye. He's spawning. As you can see, these little spots on him. Um, he's spawning. He's missing some of his, his the edge of his um his stingers. So he's been um, he's been fighting. And uh, I'm gonna let him put a another one of his sons in the in the um, back in the water but you see his mouth right there look at that that's what you want right there you don't want to stick your hand down in there there we go now got that hook out of him and he's a nice one but i'm gonna let him go and uh he's gonna swim again all right turn to the outdoors let's get another one on the line let's get this nice release here and goodbye buddy and there he goes all right cat master d i gotta thank him for the dope bait um obviously it's it's working